hey guys what's up it's me here back with another podcast for you guys and today i am here with the og shaz shaz please introduce yourself yourself What's up, guys? Shaz here, and welcome to another podcast. Yeah, I'm here with my friend Jawad. Yeah, it's been. I think so. The last podcast we did wasn't like too long ago. Yeah, it's. I think it was like two months ago. I, I can't properly. No, it was. It wasn't like two months. I think so. It was like maybe like two or three weeks ago. But like it, that was also another amazing podcast. So I have a amazing variety of topics today. and uh, you will be blown away with, with the topics that i have today and uh, also guys uh, please i will give a link to shah's channel in the description below uh, it's going to be the first link so please subscribe to his channel as well topic number 1 <laughs> because i have three topics so topic number 1 have you heard about the movie strange world it it's it's just it has released like two or three days ago by disney have you heard about that movie you gonna be have to be specific strange world I've, no i haven't heard about it so what's it about i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you so strange world it's a movie by disney okay disney that that makes you know kids movies and stuff like that so basically the, the avengers is, yeah basically the avengers and stuff like that you know that was the one of the biggest movies but as for strange world the story is actually about a father and his gay son going on a journey so you know they are they are actually making this a normal thing like telling kids like these things are like like really normal and stuff like that so i was i was like I, even i was shocked when i heard about the movie strange world coming out and you know having a gay character for kids i was like what is going on dude so if if you haven't heard about it you know you should watch the trailer there there isn't anything like that in the trailer but you know it's it's like really disturbing you know like they're putting this content out for kids where it's an it's an animated movie really yeah it's it's an animated movie for kids it's it's even on wikipedia like you, you go to wikipedia and um they tell like you know like this is the worst thing and it's a kids movie like what what is your reaction well it can't be well it can't be as bad as cuties so i'm not going to give it a too harsh response Cuties still holds the worst movie award from from me. And and you know what the the strange thing about Cuties was that it it had like a ninety percent rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Like I was like, what? 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 A ninety percent. You're rating. joking? No, I'm not even joking. Like you can you can go to Rotten. You're joking? No, no, no. It was about. I am. Uh, no, it was about seventy or eighty. I'm a hundred percent confirmed about. An eighty six. What the hell? An eighty six percent. What the? F- yeah. 86% like can you can you like even believe that thing it's 86% on rotten tomatoes and it's like you know the worst movie that netflix could release ever who who are the reviewers but <laughs> i guess because because that that's the only you know that's the only um, thing that can actually you know i mean it was actually made for so you know and you know previously i did actually talk in in my other uh, family guy video uh, you- jaj you got microsoft i can't hear you now mind dude i hear these servers well our country is in a civil war right now yeah what what was i saying i don't even remember <laughs> okay yeah, so i was i was actually going to talk about this movie so you know with this movie strange world disney is actually corrupting kids and previously uh, i talked about uh, you know in in my family guy video i actually did talk about you know there are some people that are trying to make make pedophilia legal you know there there are some people there are literally campaigns out there that are make trying to make pedophilia legal and even like in the future disney is actually doing these kind of things to you know just normalize this stuff it's worse in pakistan remember you forget that joyland is they're trying to release joyland here oh yeah I, that I, crap. Haven't, i haven't heard about joyland like what is that movie i haven't heard about i have heard about joyland but i haven't heard like what is it it's uh, basically an lgbt film from made in pakistan so basically going against like pakistani like yeah so the basic okay this is going to be annoying to review cuz i really hated reading the script the first time so the movie is about a married man who falls in love with a transgender woman dancer i am a married man falls in love with a dude who is a woman <laughs> 
yeah the, so that's the basic plot uh, they're trying to like release it but pakistan is like a lot of pakistani people aren't allowing it, it and and some well, of basic the basic idea is we won't allow I've it heard, i've heard reviews i've heard reviews about it some of the people are like um, some of the people are saying that it was a great movie i'm like what the hell dude <laughs> how is it a great movie like tell me like, like like if you want to like make a movie if you want to make an lgbt movie like in america or any other country go ahead no one's going to like complain or stop you but making it in pakistan basically goes against our standard and our culture it's like basically everything uh, the country was built off is now being removed because a few people want to see a guy have love make love to another guy like what's the idea here let let muslims be muslims there's no like forcing us they it's, it's like really strange and you know this is this is how they program people's mind with with you know movies and stuff like that so what what they were doing with joyland i think so this is what i think they are doing with joyland so they are releasing a movie like joyland in pakistan and then you know they will be slowly programming people's mind that you know it's okay to you know do these kind of things with another guy like at the, that that's actually what they are doing i don't i don't know if there is any other explanation on this but it's you know that's my explanation on this whole thing but you know speaking on you know our culture and religion i have another another great topic for you did you know that there is a burqa ban in switzerland they yeah there, there's a burqa ban in switzerland so they they are actually yeah they are actually charging women that are seen outside with a burqa they will be fined $1000 so you're telling me that people were getting pissed at qatar for like making their own culture about no drinks and stuff and like they were getting pissy over that but any other country like france or switzerland screws over muslims and the world won't even say anything you know you know what's the craziest thing about this the craziest thing is that there are no feminists talking about this there's literally no feminists talking about this thing and i'm like where yeah, well, are they, the feminists yeah well for them it, they they just got they think that they're educated enough and they think that the burqa is basically a symbolism of like uh, slavery or on women like you don't even know the basic idea of why the burqa exists and you don't thinking that you like speaking for everyone the the funny thing about feminists is that you know whenever we talk about you know um islamic women or women in general um obeying their husband they're like we are not your slaves and stuff like that obeying your husband it is, isn't about you know being a slave or something and and you know feminists they don't want to build an ideal world where women are treated with respect you know like nowadays only fans is like a normal thing the problem with only fans is that it's basically the creative freedom you could actually be a gaming channel and only fans and it wouldn't make a difference it's just that creators got more open like were more open to what they wanted to make on only fans it's just how people like interpreted it it's only fans is not like a basically a it's basically whatever you can be people just are automatically assume that it's one but you know i i don't know about only fans but you know the thing is that you know when the war started in ukraine you i mean everybody knows about the war in ukraine and when the war in ukraine happened all of these feminists were you know doing topless um protest that uh, you yeah, know stopped thought, the war i don't know who that was going to help yeah I, I, nobody knows how that was going to help but but my problem with the feminists right now is that what happened right now when there is a burqa ban you know that there are people like jada smith who are like female empowerment and stuff like that where is female empowerment at this point where is free speech like if a woman wants to cover her body then that's free speech are, are, the, are is switzerland like you know taking that away from women i don't know I mean, the world's got a lot of messed up it's basically a double standard from people they just i mean feminist feminist this is why you know i don't really like feminist the woke culture you know the woke culture nowadays it's just like it's just messed up basically you know banning a girl from wearing what she wants it's a, a violation of the women's rights so <laughs> where are the women's feminist activists or whatever they call them it's a joke no, honestly all of it is it's a joke like the fact that they act yeah, like uh, joy i can't hear you like basically every time uh, uh, there's something new to add it to the lgbt 
for some reason they try to like force it upon Muslims. Like, bro, we're not. It's our culture. Why the hell would we like give up our culture? This is the very thing that we like have been built on for something that a bunch of foreigners want. Yeah, but basically, like, you know, this is all a part of the new world order. You know, which is basically yeah. one religion and stuff like that, and like that—that that is just you know that is just horrifying. Like, if you want to uh, there to be LGBT, that's fine. You can have it in your own country, but don't tell Muslims. Don't tell people who have like a strict like law against it or like culture against it to do the same. That's just like right. it shouldn't be being... like that. Yeah. Which. There, there was another, oh. there was another thing going on Twitch, uh, you know, in the previous days, where there was another creator by the name of Eileen One, and <laughs> she was just. Oh yeah, 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 yeah! I forgot. Yeah, that happened. That happened. Uh, you know, I did actually upload yeah, a video on it, but uh, the video was actually getting more dislikes than likes because there wasn't the initial video of you know Eileen playing with herself on on there. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, People you. Are disliked uh, if I remember. The video. Yeah, if I remember correctly, you almost got like uh, age restricted for Kimika's video, or you didn't want to go again that route? No, I, I did actually got age restricted for Kimika video, but as for Eileen, actually what happened there is that, you know, the video was gaining views and stuff like that, but the problem is that the people were actually there to see the video, and I couldn't actually upload that video on YouTube, but I, I would get age restricted again. So I didn't actually upload the video, but I did actually give give my thoughts on 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 this whole stuff. And uh, you know, people were just disliking the video because I didn't actually added the initial video in it. I, I don't I don't know what's wrong with people, and and she was like doing that in front of like five thousand viewers, and I'm like, if you already have five thousand viewers, what more do you? Why want? are you doing that? Yeah, that when Kim, when Kimika was doing it, she barely had any like viewers and stuff. I don't know why she did it. She, Kimika, she also gained everything from you know her one video from one that Twitch ban. You know, she gained every single follower from you know her controversial video. But the thing about Eileen is that she already had like five thousand viewers. But I think so. Her the primary. I think so. The primary thing that she wanted to you know even have a Twitch. Was just because she wanted to promote her OnlyFans because she also has OnlyFans. Nowadays, every girl has OnlyFans. I don't know what's wrong. By the way, Javad, uh, did you hear of like the I Show Speed uh, scam video? No. What What happened about that? So you know I Show Speed, right? The guy who's like screams a lot and like has. He barks like a dog. Pretty, he's a pre, pre, yeah that one that guy you probably know now. He does a lot of that. He's a decent streamer, but recently he tried to like promote a scam site of like a crypto site which was basically a scam site it's been controversial on like youtube for a lot but basically what happened is like i show speed like did a fake uh, meet up with a fake ronaldo like he said that he was about to meet ronaldo the cristiano ronaldo but met, met with like the fake cristiano ronaldo i forgot the guy's name and basically was trying to promote uh, a crypto scam called like paradox or something like that and like his whole chat just was smart. That was one of the best things about that video. His whole chat realized that he was trying to scam them, and like just called him out at that very moment. Called him scam on like Twitch. Called him like scam on the live stream. It was really great. I'm surprised you didn't hear about it. No, I didn't. I didn't actually hear. I I don't actually liked I Show Speed. I don't like that guy. The thing is that yeah, um, I, I don't. I he, yeah, he he's got it. He might be screaming. he might be entertaining because some people like screaming and stuff like that. But I don't I don't like people like that. You know, if your only talent is just you, you're gonna scream, then <laughs> I don't I don't know then you know, like you know. The, I mean, I don't, at least be funny, funny if you're gonna scream. Yeah. At least be funny. And he, I think so. I he couldn't... also got banned from playing Valorant back. He also got I, from play, playing Valorant. He was like, he did. I don't know what he's going to say. It. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, mm-hmm. so basically, like, after he got caught, and I'm not going to, like, spread hate on speed. I think he's a decent guy, but I'm not going to be one of the few people who's going to be like, oh, I forgive him now. Because uh, speed basically apologized, but he didn't apologize. Like, a lot of people are saying, oh, man, he apologized after that scam video, and he's saying he won't do it again. I want to tell those people. 
I'm I don't hate speed. I hope that he gets better. He is young. He's 17 year old. I can get why why like he could fall for stuff like that. But he isn't sorry about the fact that he was scamming his fans. He's sorry about the fact that he got caught scamming them. Yeah, because I think that's the, what I always hate. I think people so the always video like that he made with Ronaldo that took him a lot of cash. It's it's not the Ronaldo guy that's doing it. It's basically uh, paradox. Uh, the guys mainly behind it. And by the way, those guys are scumbags. The guys at Paradox. You can like literally look at YouTube. Uh, go look at Penguin Zero or like Coffee Zilla's video. You, uh, it'll show you that those guys are like grade A scammers. And like you laugh. I mean, I'm gonna send you after this a, a few links uh, of the two videos of Coffee Zilla. You're gonna laugh at the second you will see those guys and the YouTubers they are like associated with. Because it's like really funny. Because all of those guys are like. Hundred percent crypto scammers. I mean, I I don't know even like how people fall for these crypto scams. This is, you know, this is why I don't like these kind of YouTubers. Like, let's just say, you know, I show speed, and you know, I show speed. He he has been unsuccessful in the scam, but I think so that he will try it one more time, because you know they. they I hope guys... not. Like like I said, uh, the first thing about apology videos is that those guys, the YouTubers aren't. Uh, se- George, are you are you there? Yeah, I thought I like I disconnected. But uh, I the thing I hate about apology videos a lot isn't the fact that those guys are sorry for like what they did. They're sorry that they got caught before they were about to do it. Like they were doing it and they got caught. If they weren't getting caught, they would have probably done it. If I show speeds like chat wasn't smart and were actually just a bunch of idiots who would have listen to an influencer, most of them would have lost a lot of their money. And you're talking about why people like uh, look up on like uh, these uh, crypto scams. It's like fear of being left out. It's basically that. Uh, sometimes crypto actually works and a lot of people like gain from it and like then the other guys who aren't like involved in it are like worried that they might get left out next time. So they do it and then they get like trapped in a scam. So it's basically that that you you basically FTX. You, do you know about the FTX scam? No, I, I haven't heard about FTX. Okay, FTX like is like the biggest like parent uh, company for like cryptos and like NFTs, mm-hmm. and they're so big that they're actually like working with like uh, TSM. After the yeah, their owner was. What's funny is that their owner I can't remember the guy's name has a net worth of $22 billion when his company was like, FTX was really good. Now ask me what the guy's net worth is right now, like at this very moment. It was $22 billion before. What is it is right now? Right now, maybe it should be like over $30 billion. It's $0. Nah. Seriously? Yeah, the, I told you, his company was FTX was like a, a parent company for like crypto. And they crashed so hard. Anyone who invested in their crypto and anyone who was invested in the NFTs lost all their money. It was the biggest like sales crash. It's it's just like one coin, you know. You have you have you heard about one coin? So it was uh, one coin was also uh, it it was also an NFT. No, crypto. one coin one one coin was a crypto. So what actually happened is that the the owner of the crypto one coin actually you know met up with billionaires and stuff like that, and she. I think so that the people that invested in it were like eight billion dollars or something like that, and the next day, she just she just vanished with all of that money. She just like she she just vanished off the face of the earth with eight billion dollars. Like, dude, how is that even possible? Like, you you take eight eight billion dollars from people and you just vanish after that. Like, what? Oh, wait. you just said eight billion dollars, right? Eight billion. Yeah. Yeah, I just opened up like Google and like wrote down FTX bankruptcy and it says that FTX filed for bankruptcy this month after a run on deposits left the company owing $8 billion. I think they're related. Damn, I think so. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. What's worse is like uh, in these scams, it's not like the billionaires are getting hurt that much. It's the poor guys who like put up all their savings and then just lost all of it even in like one coin there were people that actually you know sold their lands and their houses just to you know get a profit on there and you know like it's it's like really sad like and people who think like uh, like uh, for who think that crypto is like uh, investment the difference between like basic crypto investment and a bank investment 
is that you you still get the money that you gave to the bank. There's a still chance that you'll get it back. But when you do it for like crypto, there's a high chance you you're not going to get it back. There's no return for it if you lose it. If a bank loses it, they'll return it to you. The government does it to back to you. But a crypto doesn't do that because it's run by a private company, not by the government. And you know the worst thing about crypto? It's untraceable. Like you cannot yeah. trace it. It's untraceable. Yeah. It's just it's just internet money, so it's untraceable. Yeah, so it's basically all that money just vanishes in thin air. It doesn't exist anymore. All right, I guess then we have all the topics covered up here. And uh, I think so this is it for now for this podcast. Anybody who's still watching, please subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to the OG Shah's channel. It's for the first link in the description below. And also I will tag him in the title as well. And uh, this is it for now, guys. Until next time, guys. Peace out.